Graduates, families and friends, it gives me enormous pleasure to address you all today. This year, the pandemic has meant that we're unable to celebrate in person with you. And I understand that you and your supporters will have been very disappointed by this. It's my sincere hope that at some point in the future, when it's safe to do so, we'll be able to welcome you back to the university as important members of our alumni community. Our graduation ceremonies are always a high point of the academic year, bringing together members of the university community and you, our graduates, with your families and supporters to celebrate your success. And this year is no different. Indeed, I would suggest that the extraordinary times in which we are living give us even more reason to celebrate your incredible achievements. And today the technology enables us to still come together from across the UK and indeed from across the globe to do just that, to celebrate you. Graduates, you know how hard you've all had to work to get here today and you know how hard we challenged you. Today marks the culmination of those efforts. At the moment that your names are called, I hope that you will feel as proud of us as we do of every single one of you. Over the course of this week's ceremonies, we will celebrate graduates aged 19 to 76 from 112 countries. The university is deeply proud of the diversity of nationalities that make up our institution and long may it continue to do so. Graduates, whilst you're undoubtedly the stars of the show, watching with us today are some incredibly important people. So on behalf of the entire university, I would like to thank your friends, your families and supporters who have been there for you in so many ways during your time with us. And I know that amongst us, there will be some of us who have lost loved ones in this past year. And I'm sure they'll not be far from your thoughts. Graduates, today marks a significant personal milestone for each of you. And I'd ask you to reflect on the fact that none of us ever truly stops learning. I hope that you will carry your experience with you that you've gained with us as you continue your career and wherever life may take you. Today marks a beginning and not an end. And we all look to you to shape the future. And you'll do so as members of an alumni network that provides you with a lifelong link to your fellow graduates and over 160,000 fellow alumni worldwide. The network provides advice and connections and a valuable community of support for you in the years to come. The alumni team, team are here, so please do call them, use your contacts. Don't forget to let the alumni team have your email address and give them permission to keep in touch with you. Importantly, also, please remember that our careers and employability team are here to support you with an offer of careers information, advice and guidance for life. They can offer support to graduates who are looking to work, are interested in further study and provide access to opportunities. So please get in touch with the team via the University of Brighton website. They are there to help you for life. In the time that you have studied with us, much has changed in our world. The scale and speed of change, in particular in this last year, is not something I think any of us could possibly have imagined. In that context, it's clear that the university and our graduates have a significant role to play in addressing the challenges that we all face. Be it the world changing impact of our research, our overwhelmingly positive social and economic impact, and our crucial role in developing the professionals, the innovators, the leaders of the future. Graduates, all of you here today are the best possible evidence of the importance of education. For as much as we are living in a world facing challenges and uncertainties, it remains a world of possibilities and opportunities. In such a world, the ability to combine knowledge with practice 
together with the personal qualities such as resilience, adaptability and creativity will only become even more important. The university will continue to play its part by ensuring that our research, our enterprise, our partnerships, our teaching come together to allow our students to develop the practical wisdom they need to thrive. Graduates, yours is the future. Use what you have learned to make a positive difference and to help all of those around you. In doing so, I urge you to remember three things. Keep on learning, keep on believing in yourselves, and above all, stay curious. And allow that curiosity to open doors to new knowledge and new opportunities. Finally, I want to thank you for making the University of Brighton your university. You have made a mark and a contribution to making us who we are during your time, building memories and friendships along the way that will last a lifetime. Carry those memories with you as you journey and make your own unique mark upon the future. We are about now to begin the presentation of awards. Now, as your names are read out, you will appear in a small group on our virtual stage. It will be your face up there, so enjoy the moment and feel free to unmute your mics and applaud yourselves and your fellow graduates enthusiastically. I'd now like to invite the academic representative of your school to make your awards. Finally, from all of us at the University of Brighton, congratulations and thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Professor Tony Hilton and I'm the Dean of the School of Business and Law. Welcome to the live streaming of the graduation ceremony for the Brighton Business School. In a moment, I will read out the name of each graduand and you will appear on screen in a group. Please can I ask you to have your microphones and your cameras on so that we can all share your joy and celebrations at the end of your group and again at the end of the ceremony. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours in Law, Ehab Ahmed, Arisha Arsen, Mahana Al Safa, Hend Al Jabba, Salman Al Mayahi, Shorok Al Baja. Hasnain Arshad, Akam Karim Aziz, Nuha Binti Abdul Malik, Charlotte Blackford, Madeline Bloomfield, Chloe Brown, Scott Campbell. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to you all. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours in Law, Jade Chalker, Samuel Chapman, Wilson Chung, Tommaso Corti, Charlotte Crane, Isla Curry, also awarded the Bert Brill and Cardens Prize and the Thomson Reuters Law Prize, Evangeline Davidson. Yannick De Freitas. Emily Entwistle. Barsina Fakroy. Francis Garth. Also awarded the Crown Office Row Brighton Prize and the Loch Associates Group Prize, George Harrison. 
Amna Khalid. Isabel Lauder Rob. Beth Lindsay. Niven Marlow Eastwood. Congratulations to you. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours in Law. Roisin Massey. Megan Mays. Molly McCool. Erin Northcott. Janine Oley. Chloe Louise Osborne. Durgathini Paniselvam. Shivani Patel, also awarded the Almonds Prize, Natalie Relton, Amjud Riaz, Maria Siddiqui, Farhud Salman Mohaja. Congratulations to you all. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours in Law, Ariana Sarah Pilia, Maria Shah, also jointly awarded the DMH Stallard Prize for Negotiation, Hardeep Singh, Anai Sosson, Angelina Angela, Storchevska, Larry Teitler, Sanjida Udin, Maham Manu Uma, James Underhill, also jointly awarded the DMH Stallard Prize for Negotiation, Beatrice Wheatley, Arsina Yalsin, Law with Business, Rai, Rinai, Rania Al Sheba, Ineza Bernardo, Jemima Byrne, Lauren Crosby. Congratulations to you all. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Law with Business. Benjamin Day. Jade Dunsden. Lois Jackman. Chloe Rose Leakes. Kudzai Madonwe. Shelley Manning. Anthony. Oconco also awarded the LLB Fortitude Award, Daisy Pritchard, Elaine Riblet, Talisa Salabar, Zachary Waterstone, Eden Weatherup. Congratulations to you all. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Law with Business. Sarah Wilkinson. Also awarded the PDT Solicitors Prize, Lisa Yakub. Law with Criminology, Emma Adams, Iram Agbulut, Iram Asif, 
Chloe Louise Broad, Natasha Charlesworth, Anjuma Kalik, Dikshika Preman, Joseph Wheeler. Congratulations to you all. Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Accounting and Finance. Abdul Menem Al Asmar. It's nice to see you all. Imogen Bailey. Raman Baines. Laurie Baker. Ren Brosh, Eleanor Bull, Nicholas Cantleford, Lakeisha Cheng, Charlie Eddington, Charlotte Fairman, Bilal Guerin, Cassandra Harding, Ayan Jama, Gauri Prasad, Jaya Kanthan, Mustafa Karimji. Congratulations to you all. Well done, everybody. Woo. Well done, guys. Well done, everyone. Well done. Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Accounting and Finance, Youssef Kauri, also awarded the Freeman Brecon Accountants Prize, Sun Lam, Adrian Lam, Adam Matfiachik, Oluwashi Michael, Abdul Mohammed, Liam Murphy, Miroslav Novak, Demi Omalay, Jake Sage, Harkirat Singh, Carlos Souza Vathkef, Dwayne Thompson Wyatt, Emma Weeks, Jake Young. Congratulations to all. Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Economics, Emmanuel Ajari, Kevin Gashi, Martha Jones, Lovejot Kuo, Xin Ruan Liu, Evangeline Solomon. In Finance, and Investment, Meheret Dagna, Janushon Murali Tharan, Connor Murphy, Angie Trujillo, Graham White. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, International Business, Alessandro Asproso, Georgina Barber, Amy Caburn, Alice Edwards, Michael Frey, Sami Gordnia, Nana Hazel Cobina, 
Virginie Huang. <laughs> Alexander Robinson. William Sonia's de Valley. Olivia Williams. Congratulations to you all. You have to match. Good. Okay. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Marketing. Summer Alzad Jali. Anna Ama. Nana Apia. Maxim Ball. Joe Bowers. Ethan Chance, Matthew Doubtfire, also awarded the Creative Hub Prize, Reuben Forbes, Callum Hull, Tamsin Highland, Solomon Ian Zangala, Myra Gerardo Hernandez. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to you all. Get in there, guys. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Well done, lads. Woo. Degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Marketing. Antonio Marinelli, Lucy McAdams, also awarded the MTD Sales Tra Training Prize and the Governor's Prize, Amy Ray, Josh Rogers, in Marketing Management, also awarded the Bright Young Things Prize and the Calimex Prize, Johan Colo, Ailey Shark Hempson, Oliver Newell, Charlie Pike, the Diploma in Professional Studies in Accounting, ACCA, Neda Bandar, Abigail Finnegan, Monica Mason Benny. Jotsna Nobin, Sumana Tajin. Congratulations to you all. Good job, guys. Well done, everyone. Well done. Good job, guys. Well done. Congratulations. That concludes the presentations for the Brighton Business School at this ceremony. You will now have a chance to applaud each other again as we see you all on screen again. So please do take this moment to uh, celebrate well. This is your moment. Hey, congrats everyone. Woo.
There will now be a short address from the president of the Brighton Students' Union. As long as I can remember, our cohort has always seemed to be dealt some questionable cards. Changes in curriculums, linear examinations, competitive employment markets, the list goes on and on. In the year we were expected to revel in our successes, we faced a global pandemic, ongoing racial injustice, and the escalating climate emergency. On this important day, however, it is right to take a moment to reflect on all of your achievements. So, what does graduation signify to you? I personally remember being a very ambitious little girl. I would dream of the day I would walk on stage with a cap and gown to become the first member of my family to graduate. I had no idea about all the adventures I had in store getting to that point. The challenging times of the assignments, the dreaded 9am lectures on Thursday mornings, balancing part-time jobs and caring commitments, social lives and studies, the everyday commutes for some, waiting on those cold platforms for delayed trains and buses, shared houses and the handful of drama that came with the cleaning rotor. Fifteen years later, my greatest achievement has been all the diverse skills that one can only pick up when faced with a little pressure. Resilience, time management, budgeting and sacrificing, the fighting spirit. Everyone has their own unique journeys through university, but we all could not have reached this point without the support of your family and friends. And I'd like to take a moment to extend my thanks to all your supporters who are watching now with great pride. My point is this, things didn't go our way or how we had anticipated this memorable ceremony to take place. And our cohort has been referred to as the chosen ones and unique as a consequence of this pandemic. Except, we all know that this is not entirely the truth. Our cohort didn't acquire, but rather refined our already existing attitudes of survivorship. As Students' Union President, I want to take a moment to congratulate my class for their achievements that go beyond last summer, and however small. It's our lived experience that keeps me pushing to represent the student voice every single day in my role, so that we learn as an institution from the class of 2020 to provide the best possible experience for those to come. Now, it's time for you to move on to your next adventure. Whatever the future holds, I hope you will always remember your time at the University of Brighton with great happiness and pride, and that you take the time to enjoy the journey on the way. We will now return to the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deborah Humphreys, to conclude these proceedings. Congratulations once again. It's now my duty to draw the ceremony to a close. I'd like to do so by drawing on some words from the late great Professor Sir Stephen Hawking. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Sound advice for you all to remember as you embark on the next stage of your journey. On behalf of us all at the University of Brighton, I congratulate you on your achievements and invite you to keep in touch with us and the friends that you've made here. Thank you. Well done. Good luck. Thank you.